Evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Courtney Bunting. I'm Dave Jordan in Eastern Carolina Sheriff's recent comments to a local newspaper about his new amnesty opportunity program in schools is sparking some concern with some questioning its safety. Celeste Ford is live in Washington with details. Celeste. That's right, Dave and Courtney. The sheriff here is hoping to garner trust with students through the use of special contraband containers, but it's causing some controversy. In a Wednesday edition of the Washington Daily News, Sheriff Scott Hammond shared details about his office's Amnesty Opportunity Program in Beaufort County Schools, where students can anonymously place items not allowed on campus with no risk of paperwork or punishment. Cora Lee Hamm says as a parent, the move potentially invites bringing of weapons onto campus where there's a zero tolerance policy in place. Yeah, I think so, especially if they hype it up and make it seem like such a cool thing. <laughs> They'd want to put something in the box. <laughs> The paper reports that there will be what are called amnesty opportunity boxes in schools for items like vapes, drugs, alcohol, but also weapons like guns and knives. Beaufort County Superintendent Matthew Cheeseman says immediate action will be taken if the rule is disobeyed. A student comes on campus with a gun, automatic referral to law enforcement, um, 365 day suspension. I mean, it's a zero tolerance policy. We tried to speak to Sheriff Hammonds about the amnesty boxes. The sheriff said he could not talk to us on camera, but answered some questions through text. He says that he supports no tolerance of any guns on campus or school buses, but that the intention of the amnesty box is to receive prohibited items. Ham says parents need to face reality and be proactive with their children. Searching their bags, making sure nothing's in them that's not supposed to be in them before they even leave for school. And Dr. Cheeseman says in a continued effort for school safety, metal detectors will also be installed at some point during this school year. Reporting live in Beaufort County, Celeste Ford, WYTN News. All right, thanks, Celeste. And we asked Sheriff Hammonds if this means the boxes will accept guns without penalty, and he responded the possession of firearms is a violation of law, and students in possession of a gun will be dealt with according to law.